Hey guys, my name is Francis with IDA TV. Today we are here with Jeff and Joe. Yes. From the Cookie Boys. Okay guys, so tell me a little bit about your story. I know you guys started when you were very young. I was eight years old and I wanted to make some money, but I was too young to get a job. So I asked my mom how to do it and she said to uh, take these cookies and go out and sell them. So we went door to door to our neighbors, uh, two Sundays in a row, we sold out in 20 minutes both times. And on the third Sunday when we didn't go, they came knocking on our door, which uh, gave us the implication that they were pretty good. So we kind of ran with that uh, energy and we've been doing cookies for 10 years. We started really picking up in 2016. We started putting a lot more effort into recognition and getting actually legally certified. We're getting older. We want to actually make it into a full business now. I love that hustle. So did you guys bake when you were young? Like, how, Where did this interest come from? It's, it started when we were young making the cookies for our neighbors uh -huh. where I really wanted to bake full time. Uh -huh. And so my dad actually knew the owner of a bakery. And at 15 years old, I got an internship working at this bakery, learning how to make cakes and cookies. And so that's taught me, you know, how to make these cookies as best I can and fix the recipes, change things up a little bit, make them the best cookies possible. And yeah, so for me, I love to bake. I'm a baker and he likes more of the business side, the sales. He's a manager at a burger restaurant right now. Um, and yeah, it's really been a lot of work getting our kitchen permitted to sell because we don't have a brick and mortar yet. So to get from where right now it's illegal to sell food out of your house um, to where unless we are now. Unless you're certified. Unless you're certified. Right. right. But in California, it's super hard. It's really hard. It took about a thousand five hundred dollars and two or three different permits to be able to sell to customers directly and to sell to customers online. Is that, would you say that's kind of the biggest challenge that you guys have faced so far, the permitting and regulation? Yeah. The health inspection wasn't so bad because we are both in food service and we know how all that works and what they look for. Um, so the health inspection was tough, but it wasn't as tough as just doing the paperwork, filing out for applications and you guys must be crazy hard workers because I know how hard the food service industry is and how hard it is to work in a bakery and it is extremely physically demanding. Yes. Do you find that you guys are spending most of your time focusing on your jobs and business? Like, do you have time for other things? Uh, we do make time for other things. We try to keep very open schedules. Um, for uh, He is a uh, springboard diver for the Stanford uh, Junior Olympic Club team. And so he does tournaments all year. He does um, about four tournaments a year uh, in springboard diving. Um, and so that is main priority. And then, um, so work is plays second fiddle to that, but he also loves working. We both have really great jobs that we love doing and love working in. So it helps to love what you do. Um, but we do make time for, to do other things. We like to play video games. We like to watch movies. I'm a big movie person. You guys are so passionate. I really like it. So if someone was interested in pursuing their passion, similar to you guys, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, just run with it. I'd say put a lot of time into it. If it's something you're really passionate about, start. It's definitely not going to be easy to start cutting other things out. But if it's something that you really want to pursue, then definitely uh, put the time and effort into it and you'll go far. What is the best, what is your favorite item that you guys offer? My favorite is our uh, gluten-free peanut butter cookies. They're really good and really crunchy. A uh, chocolate chip cookie, but only after it's like heated up. Like it's gotta be, it's gotta be warm. So you gotta put it in that microwave, eight seconds is perfect. And that's the uh, only way to go. Okay, stipulations on those cookies. And if someone wants to buy your product or find you guys, where can they go? Thecookieboys.com and it's, it's easy. We've got, uh, I think, 11 different varieties of cookies. We've got many different sizes, so if people wanted to order a lot of little ones for a party or just they just want a dozen normal size cookies, they can order that way. Um, we're also on Instagram and Facebook, The Cookie Boys. Awesome. Thank you. My name is Francis with IDE TV, and I'm here today with The Cookie Boys.